Hello guys, my name is Angela Bassi. I am a style influencer and this is 10 questions with Spice TV. When did my love for hats start? I don't have a particular time when my love for hats started, but I know for a fact that I've always loved hats. Like there was a time where I used to wear the, the most hideous hats. Well, where I am right now in Doha Hideous. And I've always loved, I think that one thing I love about hats is how it amplifies your look and how it takes you from one step to the other uh, or take your style from one step to the other. And for me, it has always been my personal style. I tend to be a very shy person, so I really like like concealing my face. So um, when I started, when I was starting off as a hat lover, I thought to myself that, oh, maybe I wanted to do something that was separate from the numb and stuff like that. And then to be very honest, in 2016, Beyonce released Formation and I saw this particular hat in the video and I was like, yes, finally, I have found my <laughs> space. And that was how I started like really wide brains and, you know, just went crazier from there. <laughs> so yeah. Personally, I really, really, really hope, my partner and I really hope that Anchel would really be a brand that is really out there for everyone, affordable for every um, girl and every guy from points, from low point to high end. We don't want to, we're not trying to, uh, to cater to a certain crowd. And also what we're trying to achieve or what we've achieved thus far is we want to have, we're going to have lots and lots of accessories. So it's just like a one-stop shop for accessorizing for male and female or, you know, or, you know whatever gender <laughs> you're comfortable with being known as. I just want you to always have something to purchase from in jail. So it's our scarves, our hats, our jewelry, which is coming by next year. So we're very excited for all of the new things that we're going to be introducing into the brand as time goes forward. So yeah. Oh my God, it's so exhausting. <laughs> it's so exhausting. It is really, really, really mentally draining and very physically exhausting, I wouldn't lie. But the truth is one thing about me, I've always been out there with my creativity. I'm a very creative person and whatever thing that I envision, I like to bring to life just because I feel like one of our jobs as a human beings is to really utilize every single talent God has given us. And for me, it's more like if you love design, if you love creativity, if you love creating stuff, create stuff, right? No one is stopping you from doing what you have always wanted to do, except you, or you, you're literally the only person who can stop you from achieving your goals. So personally, I think that it's a, it's a lot of work, but it's, it's, I would never have it any other way. So yeah. To be honest, when I started style influencing, I didn't really start off as an influencer. I was just doing it for fun. I just did it because <laughs> I was passionate about it. As t you know, as time has gone by, I have been able to achieve, to be honest, I've been able to achieve so much in my field. And I'm very grateful to God for all the opportunities that I've been given as a style influencer. And I would say that... Um, what, keep me motiv what keeps me motivated? To be honest, right now, it's really just doing what you love. So I got, I had a point where I was doing what I love for nothing and that I started doing what I love for money. And you know, when you do something that you love long enough, it does get tiring. I won't lie, like it becomes like a job. Now it's like a job to me. And because of the kind of person that I am and my principles, I, I, I cater to it like a job. So it, it's more like uh, something that I have to do because I have to do the work and you know, who's gonna do it basically. It's like going to work, <laughs> to be honest. That's what motivates. For me, it's like, I mean, I'm alive. I mean, I'm working. How do you make money if you're not going to get the job done basically? So yes. Oh my God, have I ever considered quitting? Every time, um, I'm overwhelmed every time. Quitting, not so much, to be very honest. Overwhelmed, I'm always overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm literally always overwhelmed <laughs> because I do so much at once. But at the same time, I feel like um, quitting is not something that I have at the back of my mind because how I function is I ensure that whatever you do, you do it really well. Quitting is not an option. It's just like, it's more like a, if you're tired, rest kind of situation, not like if you're tired, quit, or if it's not working, quit. Because there were a lot of times when I started this and I was not being paid to do anything. I was just doing it for fun. And if you've gotten to a certain point, you know that a lot of people do look up to you and you have also set a standard for yourself where you can no longer treat your life or treat your dreams as an option or something where you can just like, ugh. I mean, why do it? So basically for me, it's not an option. <laughs> it's never an option. 
I, I have a, I have a, a lot of people on that list, but to be very honest, I'm just gonna keep it really short because there are a lot of people. But I'll first go with Tia Nathan. I'm, I love Tia Nathan. Like Tia Nathan is literally like an embodiment of my personal style. So I love, love, love him, and I love his work. So Tia Nathan number one, and Cynthia Bella number two. Cynthia Bella for me is a designer that I have grown to really, really love. I love her work. I love her fabrics. I love her designs. I love how she makes clothing for women like me basically powerful clothing for powerful women like me <laughs> and um number three tubo 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 is what i love about tubo is how creative her designs are right um she's very creative she's very disciplined she's very um eccentric and out there and you can always tell that this person put a lot of work into their design and i love 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 that's one of the reasons i love her <music> effortlessness and just easy and just doing it just cause with passion and then you have consistency and then you have commitment and then you have um determination to keep going so persistence that's how you actually grow in the business that's how you make money in the business because a lot of times people just want to get to the point where you're making money and it doesn't work like that it really works you have to literally start from the ground and build and build with a lot of consistency you're pushing out a lot of content and people are consuming a lot these days so you have to keep it really fresh and really like a lot <laughs> it's really really intense so sometimes i would say for a lot of people it hasn't really been a profitable business but for me i i won't lie to you i have been able to carve a niche for myself and start something i started with african print and then i started with regular fashion blogging and then i started with african print and then i started with hat and that way in my industry I will always be set aside from the crowd mostly because I have that one thing that not a lot of people have and when it comes to payment people would want to pay you because you're doing something different so I would say that it is profitable but you have to you definitely have to be ready to put in the work it's as simple as that I think find your own style and find something that is really you honestly so for instance i always tell people if you are a person that loves ripped jeans for instance you have to be the best ripped jeans wearer that the world has ever seen if you're the person that really loves um if you're the kind of person that really loves i don't know face caps or something you have to be the best face cap wearer the world has ever seen the world is really going at a nanosecond pace it's really going really 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 fast and the best way for you to stand out in a really saturated market like the fashion industry or the fashion blogging industry is for you to do something not a lot of people are doing so it could be i started there was a time i was just like street style i was a street style person i did I reinvented myself, I became the African print person. And then it became, I just wanted to be a hat person. So you always have to reinvent yourself over and over and over and over again and not think for one, for a second that you have to be somewhere and you have to be exactly where people want you to be. You have to keep it evolving. You have, it could be that you just have a corner that people know you for and that corner is where you design and create and you push out as much content as possible. So it's really about you creating something that that one thing rather that somebody knows you for everybody knows you for so yeah i think two years ago i was literally at my heaviest <laughs> i started adding i said i started putting a lot of weight i think 2019 and after the lockdown you know i gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and honestly i just got to a point where i was just like you know what i am pro discipline i am pro consistency i cannot really be the person that does not leave that lifestyle physically and like let it not be like sugar or chicken or all of those things are the reasons I can't really stay fit so I started documenting or I started losing weight I started insanity Shanti's insanity I cut my diet I was consistent for three months and then I went back to the gym and to be honest the lifestyle is very important to me because I tell people more often like when you see a person that works out it's a, it's literally a definition of their personality like you can tell how disciplined the person is from how fit they look which means because being fit is not something that you can achieve just like that it's not something that like is not like overnight success it takes time it takes dedication it takes consistency commitment persistence those things for you to get to that point so for me i wanted to be like a a practice what you preach kind of person so i told myself you know if i'm going to be this person if i'm going to be someone who is com com consistently evolving I have to, definitely, definitely have to um, 
look it basically right not just like fashion wise like physically emotionally mentally intellectually financially you just practice what you preach and honestly that's been like my